and gentlemen. Good evening, Madam President. Thank you. Um, President's news tonight on the 1st of May. Um, just to let you know, we've got, first of all, an announcement. Then we'll go into our results. So we have quite a few results. It was the Upper Age Group's YDL on Sunday. Then we had our Open Meet on Monday and then Tunbridge Open on Tuesday. Um, and also, of course, we had the Paris Handicap first round um, tonight. So a busy night of results. Um, we've then got our park run, our club records, and um, events coming up. So quite a busy night tonight. Um, I'll start with the announcement. And so some of you will have maybe seen this already, but um, we're very pleased to announce that we've got two new team managers for the men's national league team. We've got Adam Meadow, who's one of our um, young under-23 athletes and are one of our young ambassadors. Um, you might remember him, he was guest presenting for me a couple of weeks ago. So Adam's taken on the, the sprints and the hurdles um, and relays, I think, and he's helped with um, Eric Shirley, our new um, trustee. So Eric is a previous GB team manager, Olympic team manager, so it's, um, it's fantastic for us having him helping out, but it's great for Adam as well to learn from uh, a very seasoned team manager. So great news to have them on board, and we've got um, Eric is committed to the next, next season as well, so 2024 and 2025, so that's fantastic. Um, we are still missing a women's team manager or managers, uh, so maybe we could think about sharing that with sprints, middle distance, uh, field events, but we really need to get a, a women's team manager in place as soon as possible. And if anyone out there is thinking about it, speak to Paul. Um, first match on the 1st of June, so it is getting a little bit urgent. Um, so that's our announcement. Second bit of news, so we've got some results. So we had the upper age group's YDL round, first round at Eton on Sunday, um, where I'm delighted to say that team came first with 661 points. Um, second was Harrow and Decorum with 533, and Shaftesbury Barnet Harriers with, were third with 494. So we, went, we had a huge win, um, which was, was very impressive for first round out. We had quite a few missing in the, the B strings and a lot of the field events, so we did really well to, to do so well. Um, and it, it was a really hard day, actually, not just weather-wise, because uh, it was cold, wet, windy, pretty horrible. Uh, but we had a lot of administration issues to deal with. They were changing the programme and it wasn't being communicated. Um, and then we were like over an hour behind um, from, from quite early on. So it was a tough day for the athletes to manage. So they did really well um, in keeping themselves together, getting their timing their warm-ups, timing their events, um, and still performing really well. So a really good day out for our upper age groups. Um, I have the results, so if you'll bear with me, we'll plough through. So under 20s, 100 metres, we had um, double thirds in both A and B string from uh, uh, Abraham Sharif and Chenedu Nadupu. In the 200 metres, we had first A and third B from James Beecroft and Oliver Driscoll. In the 400 metres, we had um, third A and first B from James, Loss James Lawson and Nathan Furla. Nathan also threw shot put and hammer uh, that afternoon. Um, in the 800 metres, we had a second A and first B uh, from Mark Constable and Jasper Brooks. And in the 1500 metres, we had a double win, um, both A and B strings from Alex Middleton and Arthur Starvis. Uh, with a very, a very close race there, and both uh, they were the first two across the line, so that was a great, a great run. Um, in the 100 metre hurdles, we had double wins from Ryan Rotada and um, Elliot Ferguson. Um, Ryan won by over two seconds with a 1433. So it was a really good run there. Um, and in the 400 metre hurdles, we had double wins for Luke Dronefield in 53.67 and Chinedu Naduku. Um, in the 2000 metre steeplechase, we had James Bourne finishing second A string. And then into the field, we had double wins, A and B first for Abraham Sharif and Chimeri Hemison in long jump. We had a win for Tiago Ward in high jump, who was interestingly the only competitor in that event. Uh, so it wasn't just us that were suffering a few <laughs> lack of B strings, it was all the teams were suffering a little. Um, in triple jump we had second for Chinedu and a first B string for Dennis Savage. Um, in pole vault it was double wins for Oscar Whitcomb and Finn Ketteridge. Uh, Oscar also scored second B in shot putt. And in javelin it was a fourth, uh, fourth A string for Ben Platt. Um, in the 4x100 we had a drop baton so we were a DNF unfortunately. Um, but in the, the 4x400 mixed A string, we were first in 3 minutes 43. So moving to the ladies, under 20 ladies, it was double wins in both the 100 and 200 for Faith Akinbajeli, um, 11.77 and 24.25. Uh, 
In the 200 meters, it was a second B string for Sienna Kidd. Um, in the 400 meters, we had fourth and second for Julia Newman and Faith and Passy. And in 800 meters, it was second and first uh, for Cameron Kelly Gordon and Hannah Clark. Um, so Hannah was out again in the 1500 with a win in the A string and third in B for Olivia Maggi Brown. Um, 100 meter hurdles, it was first and second for Jody Self and Sienna Kidd. And then 400 meter hurdles, fourth for Amber Bloomfield and a win for Faith and Passy. Um, in 67.15, which actually would have won the A string. So a really good, I think it's the first time out for Faith there. Um, in 1500 meter steeplechase, we had double wins for Daisy, uh, sorry, 1500 meter steeplechase, it was Amber Coburn and Lola Biscoff taking second, second A and first B string. Um, long jump, double wins for Daisy Snell and Joyce and Zekwe. And in triple jump, it was third and second for Joyce again and Emily Hayden de Cabournier. In the pole vault, it was a third A string for Lydia Whitcomb. Shot put, we had double wins for Rihanna Rennie and Jessie Sargent. And then they were both quite busy. We had Rihanna was second B string in javelin and Jessie was fourth A. Jessie was also fifth in the high jump. And then we had fourth for Lacey Webb in discus and a third for Sapphire um, Houston Ball in hammer. In the relays, the four by 100, we were second in 49.28. And in the four by 400 mixed B string, we were first in 3.48. So that, these are really good fun events to watch. Um, I think it's the second year, is it the second year they've run the mixed relays? This, this is the first. It's the first year, okay. So you've got two girls, two boys, you choose the order. So it chops and changes really quickly. It's really fun to watch. Um, moving on to the under 17s. Um, okay, hundred uh, under 17 men. So 100 meters, we had double wins for James Beecroft and Max Clark. Um, in the 200, it was a fourth and a third for Ollie, um, uh, sorry, OJ John Okoro and Leon McBean. And in the 400 metres, uh, Ryan Rennie held on to fourth A string and third B for Harrison. Um, if anyone was watching that race with Ryan, his legs just, he was swimming in a sea of lactic acid and just that last 100 metres just couldn't come, the end couldn't come soon enough for poor Ryan. It was painful to watch. I'm sure it was really painful for him to run, but he did really well to hang on. Um, in the 800 metres, it was double wins for Joe Skeynes and Henry Verster. And again, double wins in the 1500 metres for Jed Starvis and Joseph Hill. Um, 110 hurdles, fourth for uh, Alexander Morell, and a fifth, who also did um, scored a fifth A in discus. And in the 400 metre hurdles, um, Sasha was out again, <coughs> uh, finishing fourth A string. And Ben O'Grady won the B string, first time out uh, in a 61.99. So a great run for Ben and Sasha. Um, in the 1500 meter steeplechase, a bit of a disaster in the steeplechase because they had the barriers at the wrong height for the boys. So the water jump barrier was too high. Um, and a lot of them, it was their first time out over this event, so they just got to it and just stopped. Um, one of our boys, Oliver, went round the side, so he was, of course, disqualified, and one boy just pulled out. So it was a bit of a farce, unfortunately, but we got a second day string um, with Nathan Clark in that. So, um, but unfortunately, we had, a, we had a few issues with the field team um, I was at Eton on Sunday actually, and that was just one of the some of the worst examples of the sort of uh, poor organisation and things. I think. So, anyway, moving on. In the long jump, we had a six A for Archie Powell. In the high jump, he was jumping again. Um, Archie fifth A, fifth A string this time, and then completing his own triple jump challenge. It was a fifth A for Archie in the triple jump. Um, in pole vault, we had a first A for Charlie Platt, and shot um, fifth A for Charlie again. In the hammer, we had a first A string uh, for Aaron uh, Axtell with 54.85, and that was his first time competing for the club, so it was a great first outing for him. And in the javelin, we had fourth and third for George Blackwell and Kamsi Ikegbu, um, um, getting good points for the club in the javelin. Um, in the 4x100, we were fourth in 45.56, and in the 4x4, it was very close, but we were second with 333.76. Um, if anyone had happened to have been up at uh, the YDL finals in Manchester two years ago, when Ryan was uh, um, bringing home the 4x300 team, um, it was very reminiscent of that, because he was on the shoulder, he was running the last leg again, coming off the bend on the shoulder of, the, of whoever was in first, came onto his shoulder, we thought he was going to get it, unlike Manchester when he just soared away with his biggest grin on his face, um, but it wasn't quite to be on Sunday, but I'm sure next time around they'll get them, for sure. But um, I think we're all a bit relieved that his legs held out on this one as well, given it was a relay. So. 
Um, in, the hun uh, in the women's, the under 17 women, um, 100 metres, it was first B string for Chazam Bonifaci, and in the 200, it was sixth and fifth for Chazam again and Sienna Williams. In the 300 metres, it was second A and first B for Alyssa Furla and Luciana Smith. Um, in the 800, same again, second A and first B for Megan Barlow and Leah Piriaku. In the 1500 metres, we had third A and second B for Naima Mossi and Matilda Schilland. Um, in the 80 metre hurdles, it was a fourth A and third B for Madeline Dodd and Beth Regan. And then in the 300 metre hurdles, it was fifth A for Matilda Schilland and second B for Beth Regan. Um, we didn't have anyone in the 1500 metre steeplechase, uh, long jump, high jump or triple jump, so we were really struggling a little. Um, but in pole vault, we had second A string with Elsa Fawson and first B with Madeline Dodd. In shot putt, it was a fifth A for Erin Simpson, third A for Erin and Discus and a third B for Ella Danby. And in hammer, we had fourth, uh, fourth A for Lacey Webb and third B string for Charlotte Bloodworth. Um, we had a win in the women's 4x100, which was fantastic, and a very close second in the 4x300. So that's our YDL uppers completed. Um, now then, we've got the, we had our own open night here on Monday, and we had 141 athletes taking part. Um, what I've done with the results is I, I, um, I got all the, our club results came in. And what I've done is I've gone through and pulled out the fastest under 13 girl, under 13 boy, under 15, whatever. So I can share them with you if you want. I'm not sure. <laughs> Have you got the energy for more, yeah, more results? Um, maybe I'll put them to one side. Um, what I don't have, unfortunately, on that, that spreadsheet that I was given, I didn't have the PVs, their original PVs. So you know, I'd kind of like to mention if they get a PV or not, but um, uh, I didn't have any. I didn't have that information. So. Um, we can maybe just save that for another time. Thing. We can put it on the website or something. But, um, but then Tumbridge Open meet on Tuesday. Um, we had just two athletes competing. Oscar Whitcomb in the pole vault who, who, who jumped a, a PB with 4 metres 45. And in the 3,000 metres, Joseph Hill ran a PB of 8 minutes 48. So great running from them. Okay, moving on to our park run and park run podiums. We had 59 runners on Saturday in 26 different locations. Um, the furthest from the clubhouse was 414 miles away up at Holyrood in Edinburgh, Julia Pearman. Just running is Steve here? Why were you not running, yeah. Steve? Uh, I'm just elsewhere. Ah, okay. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we did have someone else at, um, at the other Edinburgh apartment over at Cramond, which is a faster course. Um, but it's, it's only. It's, say again? 393 miles. Yeah. So I guess going into the centre is uh, yes. <laughs> Anyway, so I'll, 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 I'll win for Julia there in the right. furthest from the clubhouse. Um, not so many podiums this week. Um, at Bromley, our first young junior was James Bunn with a PB of 1732. And third lady was Trang Nguyen with a 1939. At Greenwich, we had Ryan Afford Smith was the third male. Um, at Lanhydrock, we had Richard Daniels, also third male. At Longingston, um, we had Martin Richardson, first male in 1910, so tough course. And at Victoria Dock, Graham Luger was the first male with a 1615, so very swift. Um, club records, I have just the one this week um, in the senior women's javelin. Uh, Becca Walton threw 59.95 out in Spain yesterday, so that's a, a club record, so well done to Becca. Um, and also, Andrea Clement ran a very fast 5K, which we're just checking whether that's a, which age group um, record that is. Anyway, sorry, reveal that next week. Um, so, moving on to what's coming up. Um, this Saturday, it's the second of our academy competitions, um, uh, which, also, um, which starts at one o'clock. If you'd like to come along, it's great to come and watch. Um, ahead of the competitions, we are holding a, a very informal um, officials workshop. Again, it's open to all. Um, pop along at 12 o'clock and we just talk you through the things that you might get asked to do if you were to volunteer to help officiate at any of our track and field meets. Um, so that's Saturday. On Sunday down here, also down here, is the Kent Young Athletes League, the first of the year. So that starts um, just about half past ten or so on Saturday morning. So 
um, half past ten start here, that's all day. So that's the uh, under 13s and under 15s, so the younger ones. And then on Monday is the Ted Pepper, um, starts at 9.30 down here. So um, we also have a, a two kilometre uh, kids race um, at that, so if you've got your little ones, bring them along, be a fun morning. Um, the following weekend, uh, the 11th and 12th, is the Kent Track and Field Champs down at, I think it's down at Gillingham. Uh, Ashford. Is it Ashford? Okay. But that's a week away. So, um, no bonus ball this week. Is that right? No bonus ball. No bonus ball this week. Um, oh, but we do have Paris Handicap to mention. Good old. Right, it's the first Paris handicap of the season tonight, and I'm delighted to say we had 17 runners, including what I would call some of the some of the top marathon runners from the club turned up tonight to enter it. So it was really great to see. I mean, certainly watching them run around the park at the speed they were running. Um, they even got back before the marshals, so showed how, showed how fast they were running. Um, talking to marshals, can't run these events without the help, and as usual. John Isaacs, Bob, and David wrote early in the course to help me marshal it. And of course, Steve helps me collate it. Sheila helps me put everything together. And we had a brand new marshal tonight. Hannah came and stepped in because we were one short. So thank you very much, Hannah. Right, the results tonight. Um, the fastest runner of an incredible time of 17.38 was Liam De Bruyne. Um, second fastest time was Micka Evans, 18.24. And apparently he told me he was taking it easy, so goodness knows what he's going to do next time when he takes it seriously. And third man was Joshua Dowling, 1843. But the results for tonight, in third place, Chris Fishlock, 2039, Benjamin Evans, 2001. But the winner tonight, making his debut in the Paris Handicap, and many congratulations, Scott Middlewood, 1948. Scott, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and the next race is four weeks today, May the 29th. Um, any other news? Any other business? No. No. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Club photo. So um, this is the picture that's going to go up downstairs. Uh, they're going to pop it down between the, in between the lift and the small bathroom. So that's going to be down there for the next four years, and then it'll get rotated after that. So it looks fantastic. Um, I know they were taking pre-orders for a smaller version, so I, I don't know if that's, if you can't, you know, order any more or so. But anyway, they're all available downstairs, so we'll be getting them out fairly soon. But I think the photo looks fantastic, so I uh, can't wait to see that on the wall. So great. Um, I think that's us.